All right, guys, welcome to Reformers Farms channel. I'm John Rodriguez, and today we're going to be talking about the GeoBallistic app. So let's go ahead and create a, a file. Go ahead up top and hit the Add button. Then we'll type in uh, Remington 700 to create a profile in 308. And then after you do that, you go ahead and press Library. Then select your caliber. You can see there's a large selection. 308 Winchester, and then you can go ahead and select your bullet type from a large library. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Hornady ELDM 178 green. If I can find it, there it is. All right, if you hit the expand there, you'll see the BC coefficients in G7. All right, guys, this is very important that you put in good information to get good information out. So site height, you want to be accurate with that. Range, you want to be accurate with that. Barrel twist is not really important. And your velocity, you want to make sure you put some, you know, good velocities in there. If you don't, you can go ahead and true it later on if you don't have a chronograph or something like that. I always like to put uh, subsonic um, numbers on there. Then you go ahead and select the profile. If you click, click over here, this is the uh, weather. You can choose from weather in your area. And you can use that or you can use the weather flow meter. This will be for the weather flow meter or the Kestrel. The next setting is your map settings. Then this will be the competition setting. And then we'll go back to the chart. This is the chart on the top part. You click the icon and it will give you your location. Uh, if you're shooting off angles, just point the phone and it'll mark the angles and your shot bearings as well. And your maximum range here is a thousand yards that I put. You can put whatever range you want. I have it in increments of five, so I can fine tune my dope. You can see that's the chart. All right, we'll go check out the map settings here. It comes with this, uh, generic page what you want to do is delete all and then hit the little icon on top that will take you to where you're at this of course is my house and the best thing about this feature is if the GPS doesn't show where you're exactly at you can uh, tap the silhouette and that's you at your position and then you can put down a target And there you go. That's pretty accurate based off my um, that. And then you can delete all pins. You can put multiple targets. Of course, this does not work very well if you do not have cell reception. And you can pan 3D it, you know, kind of angle it and do all, all these good things. So it's a pretty cool feature. Then we have the competition feature is pretty cool. Go ahead. And what I like about this feature is that you can input multiple targets. Let's say you have a stage that you're going to do holdovers and hold unders. You input a bunch of stages like I'm doing here. All right. So once you put the stages, you can see your dope is right there. And let's say you want to dial for the middle one. So you type in 1.7 and then that will be your new dope. Uh, so it just takes the math out of it. You can also export this to your phone, your iWatch, or you can email it to yourself. You could do the same thing with the chart. I always recommend exporting and having it on your phone just in case. Uh, you can see, uh, you can go to settings. You could change all the parameters around, different ranges, different temp, uh, you know, Celsius or all that. And you have a large selection. Uh, if you want to true it up, you go ahead and let's say you've already gone to the range and you shot 600 yards and your dope doesn't line up and you can come here to the muzzle velocity and you can just put the correct and it will calculate a muzzle velocity that will cause your dope to match 
You could also uh, play with the BCs and true that up as well. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. I hope you have a good week, and I'll see you at the range.